later. Yes. It's really beautiful. The detail is spectacular. Now, continuing in that 18th century tradition is the next print over, which is by Alexander Wilson, who was a Scottish immigrant who came to the United States. He's known as the father of American ornithology because he's the first American citizen to be an ornithologist. He did his amazing works published during the War of 1812 in Philadelphia when paper and ink and watercolors were scarce. And, and look how and vibrant this print is. This particular uh, copy was done in 1827. If you wanted to purchase that, it would be between $500 and $600. Now, there's a great turning in ornithological illustration with the famous John James Audubon. Even a guy like me knows who Audubon and, is. Right, good. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a $250 reproduction. If I had an original print of this work, it would be worth between $60,000 and $120,000. Well, I'm glad you and, brought uh, this print to the woods because we wouldn't <laughs> want to bring that out of the museum. Exactly. But an entirely right. different style, isn't it? The difference is the action. Audubon wanted to capture movement. He also showed their environment. I think of this as, as a sort of a romantic approach. Would Audubon also consider himself a scientist? Absolutely. He was recording the species. He was refining information from Catesby and Wilson. And how uh, would Catesby and Wilson feel about his approach to documenting these birds? Oh, they thought of him as a rebel. Is that right? Yes, yes. He was doing something different, and this just, just wasn't quite what they wanted to have done. Now, Audubon also did a popular edition. The small editions of the Audubons were done from the 1840s through the 1890s. This is actually an 1890 edition. This particular one would be about $50 whereas an earlier one would be as high as 300, 350. But again, in Audubon style, you see the birds playing. There's a worm in the bottom bird's beak. There's a whole story going on. Absolutely, and that's the kind of thing that made Audubon sort of a model for all the nature prints that have been done since. Where did you get that?